Could I play Thor? Sure. We'll play Thor. Thor's fun. Maybe Gravedigger would be better recruit there. Um, I mean, maybe. I mean, I could take uh, Gravedigger. Frankly, if I was really going Sweat Lord tryhard, I would take like Warrior, or I would take um, a Genie or Frost. In fact, I'm taking Frost. Frost is my Sweat Lord tryhard mode. Because this guy has the iframe swap, which is very, very powerful and useful. We'll see what happens as the run unfolds. Maybe I swap away from uh, Frost Skull, but like, this is the guy who uh, is going to allow me to have some breathing room occasionally. Um, hang on a second. I need to think about that fucking map. It says you start from the Demon King Castle and you go to Yggdrasil. Gotta go, buddy. Hope you get to win. Thank you. Get Hercules this run. I can feel it. If I get Hercules, the entire, uh, you know, the entire run changes completely. Uh, we're going to take a non room here. Like, we're not going to be doing Thor if we get Hercules, that's for sure. But, like, I, I want to do a Thor run because Thor is fun. And I don't think I've done him on stream yet. The only problem I currently have with Thor is his swap at Legendary is kind of bad. It, like, keeps him frozen in the air for, like, a decent amount of time. What if you find Arthur? Well, then, of course, everything changes there as well. The more I play that fight, the more I think... Hmm. I don't know if you should target one fist and leave the other one alone. Because the thing is, when you kill one of the fists, the other one heals. But also, there's a lot of attacks that the hands do that, like, force you off of them, basically. Like, you, you can't just sit there and attack the fist. Because if you do, it'll kill you. So I'm not certain... Like, I don't know, it seems, I don't, because uh, it doesn't full heal is the thing. Like, if the when the fist in the face, or the second part of that fight heals, it doesn't heal to full if you hurt it a lot. And we had already nearly killed one of those fists. And I actually think if you were quick enough, you could even skip the second phase of the first uh, portion of that uh, scary fight that we were just in. Like, if you were quick enough, and you can kill it before it starts to heal, I think you could even skip it. It's not like Leona Sisters, I don't think. There's always Thief with the mana tech stuff, he has to be fully invulnerable. Oh my god. That's such a good fucking point. Wait a second, you might be cooking there, Kinfus. What the fuck? That's nutty, actually. Hang on. I'm going to have to try that. I don't know if I'll try it on stream, but I'm going to try that shit. I wasn't even thinking about that. That's just straight up cooking. That's good food. Yeah, you can get both hands low and take them both down. That's kind of my been my strategy so far. I'm kind of Leona sisters in it, but um, I don't know if it's the correct play. I'm kind of still figuring that stuff out. Because, like, dashing between the hands puts you vulnerable to, like, especially that rift move. Because, like, I'm dashing in between the different areas, and the rift usually appears in the center. And that's, that's like, I think both times I took a bunch of damage there, it was because I was doing that. So I just can't tell if you... Because once one of the fists goes, they can't do that anymore. Maybe you are supposed to target one of the fists down. Hydrosam Hercules. I'm not familiar enough with Hercules to know uh, the ins and outs of it yet. All I'll say is, like, my first... Like, so I won my YouTube video, but I didn't consider that an official win. I won last night with Genie, and that's the run I consider my first win. Because um, Genie just has the iframes on deck. Like, Genie is Genie. 
So. Just, you know, something like slime even is really useful sometimes. Which we'll grab. We'll grab this as well. He raises both hands in unison when he's going to do the big... It, it, the problem is I don't know where it spawns yet. I don't know how to determine where he's going to make it appear. Like, does he make it appear on you? Does he make it appear in the center of the map? I just don't know yet. That's the kind of thing I need to uh, focus on, I guess. Make him harder if you reset cutscenes? Why? Like, wait, how? He will have all the phases again. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm going to keep it a buck. He's harder after you fight him the first time. Like, he's easier in the cutscene version of the game. Like, he's way harder now. Because um, the phase three, like the, the cutscene fight that was in the original version where he's like a mutated form is actually now a difficult uh, boss fight. Like the, the stuff that he was doing before is nothing. It'd be real nice if the mage would drop her legendary. I'd kill for it. Oh no, wait. Oh, I mean, we're not getting the final fight anyway, so it doesn't matter. I missed that uh, uh, purified quartz or whatever, though. Like, I don't want the final. I don't want the hidden boss. But I do want to test something. So remind me to get the quartz in the cat area. So maybe he will raise his hands. You wait. Uh, you wait them attempt to jump over a ball, a rift from either side. I'll have to pay attention to him raising his hands in the next fight. And just like really focus when he does that attack, I guess. It's so hard in the moment to, to realize what's happening as he's doing it. Because I'm just trying to focus on living. You can still search for the one missing? Yeah, no. Spam Hercules abilities and pray I didn't die. That's what my strategy was in my YouTube video. Basically. I also had Coward, too. But I'm trying to actually learn the fight. That's like... Like, I, do, I have to learn it, because I play this game on YouTube, and I have to make content for people. So, like, getting actually good at the fight is very important. Okay, this fight is just chaos. This ability I have on my floor is, like, genuinely harmful against this guy in particular. It just kept leaping me up into the fucking disaster. <laughs> or, I mean, uh, quarantine. I'd last run in, I died. Uh, I died to the fucking rifts or whatever they're called, spawning in. Where they spawn the orbs out, that shit sucks. Give me a cool item. It's not horrible, I guess, but it's not cool. Look, cat hacks, gotcha. Thank you for the reminder. Give me. 
Makes poison very uh, consistent though. Uh, you can do poison Thor. It just, <laughs> it's not like the ideal, like it's not what you think of when you're building Thor. This can go, I guess. Poison Thor. <laughs> I don't even know if poison's good in the current meta though. It probably is. Like nothing's really changed. The only thing that's changed is like there's a boss with higher HP that's hard that you have to learn again. But like poison can still do it, especially with approaching death, I would think. And also I've seen poison enhanced. It's very powerful. Yeah, poison enhanced is very good. Oh, we're not out yet. He's fucking nuts, man. Ah, we saw him in the last run and I didn't take him. Hercules is crazy. He, like, he's probably the strongest one of the whole entire group. Except for maybe, um, uh, Arthur. I'm not sure who's better. Okay. There's gotta be something. I've been meaning to do crit items anyway on uh on this guy so maybe i can do like a hybrid crit item uh poison build or something i don't know the good thing about invisible knife is even though like it's not like <laughs> like obviously it's not going to scale my damage to help my poison but it has crit percent on it anyway so even if you're not building magic per se you can still take it because it just gives you 10 percent crit and misfortune but like if I'm going poison, um, I'm going to need to have really high physical damage. I'll try to do some kind of mix shenanigans though. We'll see what happens. Maybe we can get really dense damage with Pot of Greed. This would be like the perfect demonstration to people how poison works. Because a lot of people see like they don't think of poison as an like a universal status that you can bring on everything. They think of it as a physical damage and you're like limited to physical damage with it. But like the way it deals damage is just so like powerful that you don't even really need to worry about that. There's invisible knife right there even. But also Lake in a Bottle is here. And I got this shit off screen. I'll tell you guys this much right now. Freeze 4 isn't the best in general, but maybe it's better when enhanced or is... Uh, I haven't seen it when enhanced, actually. That's a good point. Okay. This isn't clickable, but like... So, based on what fucking old said earlier, he kind of hinted towards something. Where's my mini map? That's how I cheated earlier. Someone fucking gave me a hint earlier. Try fairies? It's too late. I didn't take it. But also, I don't want I don't want to win with fairies. Fuck fairies. They suck. They're boring. Like the thing the emperor said is interesting like he said that yggdrasil was his first test subject and that fucking map with yggdrasil is like there's obviously something with fucking yggdrasil it's so obnoxious wait what the oh oh 
Well, I found it. Hey, I'm not f slandering the fairies. I'm saying they're boring. They're powerful. Yeah, on Research Log 17. One day, my friend called me over to explain the purpose of the Enriched Dark Quartz. I saw a strange quartz tech device. It's called a Dark Tech Tank. And I just couldn't comprehend its design. It was rectangular and had a little door, which had six holes on it. My friend said the specimen's modification is complete and it's sleeping in the water tank since we have no enriched dark quartz. I knew my job wasn't going to be easy. Enriched dark quartz will explode as soon as we bring it close to his device or this device. But now we have to use it on this device. Too many this devices. It took a peek in, I took a peek inside out of curiosity. It was hard to believe that such a small thing could be our ultimate weapon. Is it even alive? So that was Curious of Old, who I'm not that I'm not really mad at, honestly, I guess. I don't really care that much. Not anymore. But that's what even saying the slightest thing will get you for the record. Just so you know. That's why I ask for no hints. I don't even know if old is here right now, but the the reason I specify just don't say anything is because once you say even the littlest thing, like I can't unhear that information. So that's how I found that. <laughs> I have an idea of who the final fight is. Spoilers spoil things. But now we found all the pieces. I'm still not going to on... Or maybe I'll do it for the next run. I don't know. But this might be the last run of the day. We'll see. I don't think... Um, I'm pretty sure Withered Hand would be pretty fucking bad. On... Um, on both of these guys. Viking especially. Cotton bat, fairy fun? No, we're, well, we're not doing fairies, so. Oh, we're taking weakness exposure, and we're taking this. Old reliable. Nux Rencia, at least. Well, I don't know if I'm doing another run. Because I'm, you know, I went for five hours yesterday, and I was exhausted. Like, my brain was literally mush. I wasn't having fun by the end. Thunder can't crit from what I remember. Ooh. That's... People were saying he's the best fucking skull from the bunch? Really? <laughs> Thunder can't crit? I mean, that was early on. People jumped to conclusions too quickly. Like, now that we're a day in, from what I can see, it seems like Hercules is the strongest. And King is probably the second strongest. And I would probably put Thor behind that. Or maybe the parry guy. He's very... They're both very good. The only one who's bad is fucking God of War. Or, yeah, God of War. That's the only one that I just currently can't see any reason to play. Unless you're trying to challenge yourself. I'm going to continue to try and figure out a way to make him work, though. I'm not done with him, just so you guys know. Like, I want him to work, okay? Trust me. We need the hammer ability where he throws it because that's how we're going to build up our thingy. Uh, prohibited book. We also need some poison and some physical damage. Uh, this goes. We'll grab this. Treasure on the pedestal. This goes. Or maybe it doesn't actually. What goes instead? Can you verify this one thing for me? I think Thor's lightning is skill damage. Can you check if it increases Demonomicon? Uh, sure. That's something I'd like to know as well. See, it's very important to know that. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, what am I buying here? Probably poison. I'll just go ahead and preemptively buy this. So like, here, let's uh, let's stand back and just do this. Okay, I guess it doesn't go down. Never mind. 
Let me at least kill these fools before I... Yeah, it is. You see that? It went up. So if we just upgrade this guy to unique, he's going to be like one of the premier Demonomicon Awakening characters, I think at least. He'll be really good at it. Not better than Living Armor, not better than Water Skull, but still really good. That's good to know. Stuff like that's important. Man, the game is saying, go spirits. But I wouldn't even bring this to the end anyways. It's death. For right now, I ain't taking omens. It's not death, it's OP. I don't agree with you. It's 100% extra damage. It's death until I figure out how to fight this. That's for damn sure, at the minimum. Uh, pass. I guess I have to break whatever skull appears here. I hope it's a good one. Wait, are you sure lightning doesn't crit? Because my lightning just applied two instances of poison on both of them. And poison... Oh, it could just be because it's skill damage, actually. Poison applies through skill damage. I think that's what it is. I just got lucky, I guess. Yeah, 50% more damage taken is a lot to ask when um, I don't know what I'm doing in this fight. Of course it's a common. I still break it though. The quicker we put this to unique, the faster we'll awaken the Demonomicon. Please give me the hammer. Or the dash. The dash works too. So now we don't need to pick this up anymore. At least, I don't think so. Take high crit and test. Well, um, keep in mind, I'm not your guinea pig, but I do plan on taking high crit anyways. Nope. <laughs> Wait, who's my partner? Nope. <laughs> Pass. We already did a champion run. Rewind the VOD if you want to see it. That's bone shards, baby. We have the frost for one reason and one re reason only. And it's what you just saw me do. Oh my god, he doesn't instantly teleport behind that. That's kind of fucked up. Champion Redemption? It would literally just be another Champion L. Common Champion L, as they say. This is good. It's revenge. Don't mind if I help myself to some revenge. What else is there? Buy revenge on the pedestal? Sure. Oh, sorry, guys. Insane with Thor, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how that works, because if it's skill damage, it wouldn't work the way you want it to. Because I assume you want him to, like, spawn a bunch of projectiles whenever he uses his lightning or something, but... Um, I'm pretty sure it only interacts with basic damage. Or normal damage, whatever the devs want to call it. It's 
still attacking like crazy. Maybe it triggers for each hit of Guan Yu. Hey, maybe it does. Dude, we found the use. Mix damage Guan Yu with Frost Skull. That's what's up. We figured it out, guys. He's good now. Guan Yu, all of a sudden, top skull, bro. That's all it took. What's my crit right now? 35? Could stand to be better. Uh, psh, we don't need this, I don't think. What's my damage? Eh. Wisdom spoils, right? Uh, good point. I wasn't even thinking about it. Too late now, though. I mean, it, we'll hopefully see it again, or something better. Ah! Stop it. That hit me? Get out of here. I did not hit shit. Shitty item, but at least it's money. Can't complain. Well, I mean, I could complain, but I'm not going to. please <laughs> it's just you now loser I already missed one of the pieces of the quartz but I'm gonna go ahead and grab this I need to get into the habit of just like rearing to grab these things so let's grab it here Wait, what? This would be the PogChamp Obron run? If only I had picked up the thing. The water. But, like, at the time, I didn't realize this was going to become an Obron run. Or it could have been a good one. But I've already seen those items. I know what they do. They're both very good. Well, I don't know if Undyne is good or whatever. But, like, the, the water transformation is very good. Big fan. But this is also a good poison run, I think. Like, one of these days, the community just has to realize that you can take poison on anyone in the same way you can take Oberon on anyone, and it's still going to be good. And if it takes a run like this to show them that, so be it. <laughs> even even then, people won't, still won't listen, though. Not that I think I'm going to win this. But if I, was, if I knew what I was doing, I would probably be able to win this very easily. Because, like, the, the power is just inherently there. But look how much damage we're dealing to fucking Liana sisters. And look, not a physical skull in sight. Ow. Don't die. Oh, she's dead. Oh, live, live! You have so much to live for, miss! Long hair sister. Beautiful, thank you. Sin showed up a lot today. Did they change something? I don't know. I've noticed I've seen it a lot too. They should change something, and if they didn't, they should. But they may have. Ah! Uh, if I lose my reassembly here, it's over. It would be probably worth my time to just reset the fucking run. So let's not do that. I fucked up there. Oh, I fucked up that so hard, but we still are. I think we kept our reassembly. I finally got the Isle of Forgotten plus Kaboomer for once. That's a 
very powerful. I don't know if I would take it to the final boss currently, but it's it's still very powerful. I'm just scared of him. I'm too scared of this freaking jerk. This is all garbage. Yeah, it's just all trash. Coward. I'll take the moniker. I'll be a coward. I'll wear that badge with pride. Smile. Oh, uh, what do I want here? Mercury hearts? Wait, I never did this. I, I said I was going to do this. I forgot, Bakanudo. I need to um, take mercury hearts when I'm not streaming. Because, like, it's a really, really, really good way to have, like, a bunch of free hits against the boss. And just kind of, like, rather than just running for my life all the time, take a look around and see what's happening and try and figure it out proper style. If only this increased your attack speed, it would be so much better. I don't know if it's good here. You have revenge, try piety. Oh, good point, actually. I did this yesterday. It's really useful. I'm back in that fucking meta. <laughs> I'm ashamed. I'm, shame on me. But, like, I need this shit right now. What if I also took Super Baby? Am I that cringe? I guess it's not really cringe. It feels cringe, though. Get away from me! God, look how much we're destroying this Frieza. And guess what? That was all poison. I, poison? Poison doubters need to wake up, sheeple. Okay? It's the most universal offensive status. You can take it on anything. Okay? Wake up, sheeple. And guess what? Poison enhanced is even better. I've already used it. It's great. <laughs> it's like, when in doubt, grab poison. You have to go past the hero. That's true. Uh, I'm pretty good at dodging hero damage, though. If I really were to just be trying as hard as possible. Like, I've got good reads on the hero. And I could always just bring, like, Coward and uh, Heirloom as well. Uh, we'll let her out. Uh, but I'm not going to use her. Get away from me. Or maybe I will use her. You know what? Yeah, let's use her. I want the fucking hammer spin. Yes, thank you. This is the concentration skill. Yikes. Yikes, bro. I mean, I do have concentration up currently, and it's still that slow. Heirloom is still your favorite. Heirloom's great. Heirloom's like the happy little accident inscription that lives in our hearts forever. My damage definitely needs to improve before we get further into this run. At this current stage, I would fall behind very quickly. Something like the wheel is pretty helpful. I don't have wisdom, right? I don't. My magic's way less important than my physical on this run, so I need to be looking for ways to scale my physical. Something like this could actually be pretty useful. Is there anywhere I can fit this? I could <laughs> get rid of the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> but I just got it. Have an idea. I, there's so many I still don't know. Eventually, I might just uh, spoil myself on everything, actually. I might actually do... Except for the hidden boss. I won't spoil myself on that. But um, I might look at all the inscription bonuses and just kind of... Because I need... Eventually, it just doesn't matter anymore. Like, authentic reactions are meaningless past a certain point. Like, everyone else already knows what the hell's going on. This is 10% crit rate, 45. Almost every hit's going to be a poison application. And it also is dual, which is pretty nice. Is this like an item I want to take to the end of my run, though? I don't know. What's better that I could find here? 
and I'd, I'd have to get rid of the wheel. I guess I can't. You know what? Fuck the wheel. Fuck you, wheel. Loser. Wheel schmeel, am I right, folk? Exit Plus also seems very good. There's so many I'm... I, you know what? Fuck it. After I'm done, maybe even after this run, I'll go through and, and uh, look at them. I don't know where I could find them in a place that's not going to have other spoilers, though. Like, the Skull Discord is like a no-go zone for me right now. I just ain't fucking with that shit. Where did... <laughs> Hang on a second. Where's the glacier? Did you guys see that? I spawned it in. Do a reaction video? Dude! What's going on, Haxer crew? It's me, your boy. And today, we're going to be reacting to the hidden boss and the inscriptions. No way! No shot! That's the hidden boss! No freaking shot! No freaking way! There was my reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed. Do I want this? I don't think so. What am I looking for? I, I don't know. I, I want better courage. I know that much. This Fortune Omen's a hard pass. We're not doing crit items really and you might say what about invisible knife it's literally they're just there for misfortune i don't really care about it in terms of like the damage output right now wood <laughs> wood what <laughs> wood watch that's what he meant right guys he's saying he'd watch that he's saying that's fire content Bringing the concentration skill, at least on legendary, sure. Though, you know me, I'm not a fan of concentration, so it better be really good. Like, and I mean, it better fucking be the best skill they've ever come up with. For me to even consider using it. <laughs> they better have been cooking hard. That don't mean shit to me, I can use it on air regardless. Like, right now. See that? I used it in the air. Concentration seed shot. You're eating well, aren't you? They gave they finally gave the one seed shot fan what he anything he ever wanted. Like they didn't know that such a seed shot fan existed they were like no one likes this skill no one we may as well just get rid of it and then you you sent them fan mail where you just gushed over seed shot and your deep desire and love for it and they're like all right we can't disappoint this one guy this one guy who likes so he somehow against all odds likes this skill There, I used it. You happy? I fucking concentrated. Don't even think about it, Priestess. Okay, he's ulting. There's nothing I can do. Let him have his fun. We go what are you Craig asking about I just wish the curse for poison wasn't poopy butt me too man it's so bad it's the opposite of what you want uh bone shards please all right guys I'm gonna read this shit I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do the thing 
Reading Rainbow. Let's see what this says. Will it change my mind? Smashes the ground with a hammer to deal magic damage to enemies in the front. Holding down the button initiates concentration. The area of effect grows and the skill creates thunder up to three times proportionally to the duration of the concentration. Let's test it. Ooh! Yo, hang on. Am I a concentration convert? That's pretty good. <laughs> hang on, let's let's give that a shot. Hey, I kind of like that. That's kind of dope. Like, I'm going to keep it a buck, you know. I could have kept the bit going, but uh, I'm, I'm just going to say it. I like that. That's powerful. Now, is that viable against the fucking Dark Hero, for instance? Uh, I don't know. It's good in rooms. If I could get even more concentration uh, speed, I'm sure it would be even better. We don't have our Arachna Shrine build up, so maybe that'll help. Can you just hit me, please? Or just stand there. That's that's dope, too. Thanks, man. The mobility in the air, you can evade ground attacks while holding the position. That's true. And then I can let go of it early if I need to also uh, dodge something else. Thanks for deflecting that, sir asshole. Fucking freezes. Remember when we thought we were going to be done with freezes? I remember. I remember I was like, I wonder if they'll follow us out of the dark mirror in our new game mode. <laughs> I don't think the devs would do that to us. <laughs> I remember the good old days. Like a week ago. That was That was awesome. We had hope. What up, Lucas? You don't even have to concentrate the skill fully to have a decent effect. Yeah, th this skill's just good, I think. It might even be his best skill, unironically. Maybe the hammer throw is better. But, like, if, if the hammer throw is better, that's his second best skill. I think, at least. Skills look awesome. Yeah, these... I mean, this character in general is just freaking insane. I love him. Uh, that's the poison flower. I might just buy that, Mother Hubbard. Man, so late for this. Ugh. What an what a absolute nightmare. Um, We still need a lot of damage. We need really dense... I mean, it's better than this. Right? Oh, it's the same. It's literally the same. It's No, it's worse. It's worse than the Kalyan Sword. Ugh. Gross. Hope Slasher, please, bro, please. Uh, I think this guy's too slow for this. No Fulgent on. Although I could. Oh, no, I have this. Okay, never mind. What's going on? Uh, losing a lot. But still having fun. This update's great. Despite the jokes I was just making. Treasure for it in the run would be uh, PogChamp. Well, I'm going to find out what that does soon anyway. So, you know, after this run, I'm going to read that shit. Just because I'm tired of... Like, that's... I don't know. I just need to know. Why did I click this? Why did I click this? I know better than to do this it, it's worthless like i'm not gonna beat these guys in time you motherfucker 641 i mean that's reasonable i guess what's in here thanks for nothing all the act three ones are terrible you might as well just not even try Uncapped gold scaling. Oh, so that's just... I mean, it doesn't... Actually, you know what? It doesn't matter. But also, it can't be uncapped gold scaling because it's... It, you only get it at the end. So it, that would be useless.
Like, I'm going to find out soon anyway. In fact, you know what? Just tell me what it does. Tell me what it does. Because it doesn't matter. Just say what it does. Like, what's the use in waiting, like, 30 minutes? Or just telling me now? What does Treasure 4 do? Yeah, go ahead. Doubled Princess Box? Really? Ooh. Dude. Is that... Is that good? That late? I don't think that's good that late. Oh, only... Well, then explain how it's better. Like, that late in the run, that's not going to help you that much. Because you can't even build your inscriptions further beyond that point. Like, at that point, your inscriptions are your inscriptions, so you can't really build around it. Ow. Man, that does so much damage. That's crazy how much damage that attack does when it's fully concentrated. It's also root over evil, but amp instead of damage percent, right? Ooh. Oh! Oh, wow! Three items that have double treasure? Ah, oh, dude, that's... Okay, yeah, that's cool. That's actually cool. That's really cool. I don't think I'm gonna get that on this run, but that's still sick as fuck. That's dope. As I like to say. Uh, I guess we could get rid of this. It's the same amount of crit, but even more stats. Yeah. Bye. Although we do lose duel. How much do I care? Actually, it, it it's this. It's plus ten physical damage technically. I guess. How much do I care about ten physical damage? I don't care a lot. It helps my magic too. Man, my damage is low. We need to fix it. Poison Fang is legit good now, right? Uh, no, because it's 10% against bosses. It's just, um... It's... What's it called? Uh... It's... Um... Kingslayer on an item slot, which is horrible. <laughs> Let's take Shorthand. Yeah, but now you're making the argument for Kingslayer. And Kingslayer is a noob trap. What up, Grr 7 k okay. Does this game have multiplayer? Nope. Single player. It'd be cool if it did. I think we'd all love that. But sadly not. It's still a really good game, though. Interesting that you found this game through the directory, maybe. How'd you find this? Are you just interested in this game or something? And you, like, came to a stream to see? Show on Steam that has multiplayer? Really? I don't know what that's about. Through stream? Yeah, I don't, I don't know, um, if Steam says that, I don't know what they're talking about, it, maybe, maybe it's a hint for the future, but, like, it doesn't have multiplayer right now. Dude, if they added multiplayer to Skull, oh my god. We could actually fucking, just turn it into a fighting game. Anime dating simulator, you think? Do devs do that, where they, like, tag their games falsely to, like, get more clicks?
Wait a second, did you just see that? He stopped in the air. Just roguelite fan in general? Well, this is definitely one of the better roguelites, man. Like, I can tell you that right now. I've played a lot of roguelites. And obviously, I I'm biased towards this game for sure. But Skull is a really good game, and it just got a really big update. So, it's never been a better time to play it. Even without multiplayer, the game's just really good. Yeah, it's, it's also very challenging, like Box said there. You'll struggle. Uh, let's see if we can find a flask. Yeah, flask it is, please. Also, I'll juggle this coin. He has a limit on how fall he, he can fall. Interesting. Ooh, an omen. I heard that shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Sometimes you just get lucky, guys. What can I say? Luck is on my side. I'm still going to lose. At least I lost with a smile on my face. And copium in my heart. How is the balance of your double princess box? What? What do you mean? This is a good item. Is it better than the ring? It might be better than the ring, actually. Is it better than this? No, that's my artifact, which doesn't matter that much, but it matters somewhat. I don't know what to do here. So they literally added full they added um clone clone back into the game essentially. But they gave it to us at the end of the game, which honestly, that's smart. How much does this hurt my magic? Oh my god, it's so bad. But my physical becomes better. But like my magic also needs to be good. We need we can't take it. I mean, my damage is good despite my low stats, which is very interesting. At least it's good in these rooms. We'll have to see how it performs against the Dark Hero. It being good in rooms is pretty much meaningless. When I see the Dark Hero fight, I'll get a better idea of where I'm at damage-wise, and I guess Joan as well. But I'm a little concerned. Um, I can't fit it. Nah. I don't get what you mean by how is the balance of the double prince's box. I can maybe answer that instead of box. I mean, I didn't work on the, the coding side, but like I know some stuff about it. Like, what do you mean? Oh, we uh, woke our uh, book. Oh my god. Okay. Hang on, I gotta focus. Like, if I lose... Ooh, if I lose uh, reassembly, it's over. Didn't get poison there. Whack.
Okay. Can we talk about how much HP the Emperor has? It's uh, <laughs> it's a lot. I'll give you that. Uh, we can full scale into this, because we need damage. Cancel concentration with dash? Uh, I don't think so, but we can test it. Like, something like that, I'll be your guinea pig, because it takes two seconds. And you can't, for the record. You can't do it. At least not on that skill. Maybe on some other skulls, but not on Thor. I hate this Dark Elite. I hate him, I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. Now I got this jerk wad here. Can you please die? Yeah, like if he takes my reassembly, it's over. Okay, good. Holy fuck. Being amped a bit by approaching death, getting that makes poison builds even more universal. Exactly. It's hard to say how good this would be without approaching death, but like with approaching death, it's good. I think you can still make it work without approaching death though. This is definitely the run for people who are skeptical about, um, about poison and its power to watch. And it's not like this is even a particularly high damage run. It's pretty low, actually, all things considered. Well, that's not that bad, actually. When all things are... 702 is fine, actually. Never mind, I take it back. 702 is pretty good. We can still get Pot of Greed as well. There's still ways to even scale it further. Can anyone answer you? What? Can you... Can you... We were literally just talking about that. Cancel Air Dash with a basic? What are you talking about? Like this? You should know the, the answer to that, Lucas. Of course you can. Oh, you mean... What? Huh? Oh, you can't, actually. What the hell? Why can't you? Wait, what? Huh? Why'd they do that? That's... Wait, why? That's crazy. Like, no other skull I don't think in the whole game has that problem. You're welcome. I, fuck you. I didn't want to know that. <laughs> I like this skull. Why'd they do that? <laughs> That's... I, I don't want to have any ill thoughts towards Thor. He's cool. <laughs> but wh why is that a thing? I could have gone my whole existence without playing Thor or playing Thor and not known that and my life would have been better until the situation where it fucked me over and then I'd be pissed off but I'm already pissed off anyways that sucks <laughs> give me a uh, approaching death dude please oh okay we can juggle can't take this again which sucks We'll juggle here. Um, no, no. This is a dupe. Uh, this is a dupe. And this, I guess, is a fine dupe. Everything else is acceptable, I guess. There's a lot of things I would leave on the ground. We'll see what happens. Give me something. Anything, please. Something cool. Thanks. I think. It's 5% less crit rate than the invisible knife, but I think... 45 to 40, right? No, to 30. Oh, God. I can't do that. Why is it so low? Oh, because this has 10 crit on it. Oh, my God. 
Maybe it's fine, though. Maybe it's fine. We have a lot of skill damage. I think it might be fine. That's so much HP. That's so much damage. I, I think it's fine. I think 30% is fine. Yeah, I think it's fine. Let's, uh, I'm, maybe that's copium talking, but I think we're fine. I'm going to keep the slime and juggle this. Call me crazy. I'm going to do it. Uh, save our money, I guess. Uh, you know what? Gotcha. Good gotcha. Really good gotcha. Is there anything I can get rid of? Uh, I think I could get rid of this, actually. Because, like, it's... it's almost the same amount of damage or it's more damage right oh no it's not it's less keep in mind artifact is giving me 45 right let's see what our magic damage looks like without it wait yeah what <laughs> see ya no not you not you oh wait i was fucking i was wrong i was doing it wrong um no, stop. Stop. Okay. So it's 495 versus 575. Finger of Lightning can go. Uh, Actually, it is my duel, though. 530 versus 575. How much do I value duel 2? It's like, we don't have Go-Getter is the thing. That's the thing that's making me want to get rid of the Demonomicon. Master Fighter is, but it's not Duel 2. Duel is on this. If I get rid of this, I don't have Duel 2. I don't think I care that much about Duel 2. I think this is just better. It's the middle ground option. I think it's the right choice. Like, duels, Duel 2 is good and all, but it's not like a build around. Makes my inscriptions look a lot worse. What's it do to my physical? My physical stays the same. Hang on a second. How does that work? What? Wait, hang on. What? How does my physical stay the same? Yeah, wait, this is just strictly worse. Is it... It's collection desire, right? I guess. But that still doesn't make any sense. Okay, there's... The math has to add up somehow. I'm only gaining artifact from this. So that's... 25. Close to enemies. No, I'm not. Wait, I... What? Who's the fucking enemy? Am I tripping? Shouldn't the master... Shouldn't it be down here if it's activated? Master fighter isn't activating? Why? Is it glitched? Hang on. What if it's glitched? Maybe... Okay, let's kill this guy and see what happens. What's happening? <laughs> Okay, I'm not taking this. <laughs> it might be glitched. Wait, anyone want to... Uh, I don't know. Like, I think it's glitched, guys. Not need to fuck? I don't know. That's so weird. But it was... Hang on, though. But look at this. Look at this. It gets higher. What sense does this make? It, it's... This makes no sense. Because, like... Because, like, if I swap out artifact... If I swap out this item... Like, it's not collection desire because it's the same amount of inscriptions. But, but it's the same amount of inscriptions. I'm not getting two inscriptions from this. I don't have execute. And I don't have mana cycle either. I only have artifact and I only have duel. Then why isn't the damage going up here? 
Then why is my physical staying the same when I drop this? Oh, it's because I... Okay, I see. Because I lose duel. Okay, I see it now. I see it. Yeah, okay. But even then, this item ain't working. This item is not working, I don't think. Might want to be a bug report. Like, for sure, something's up with the Master Fighter. But, um... The 25 makes sense. I'm leaving it. Like, I'm, my brain can't handle that right now. <laughs> I'd rather not think about it. It's like, Master Fighter is such a good item. That being bugged, we can't have that. We can't have that. You guys need to put that in bug report now. It's my soldiers, go. Go, my soldiers. So We need to say something. If that gets bugged, it's over. Dual, fit, dual enjoyers will be shit out of luck for who knows how long. We have to, we have to stop this. I don't care how it got bugged. It got bugged. We can't have this. Same, but so there's a heart of the ascetic bug. Oh, the one where you can continue getting max HP or whatever, or healing. I mean. How would that be the same? Dog, I can't live in a world where I can't use that item. Master Brawler. What the fuck are we talking about, dog? Master Brawler? Master Brawler sucks. How dare you say anything positive about Master Brawler in this community? Yeah, but I kept picking it up and dropping it, too. Like, it's not like I only swapped once, right? Like, I swapped multiple times and it didn't fix. You did the same? Okay, well, the odds of me finding that item again are really low, but if we find it again, I guess we can double check. I don't know how this glitch works, Bach. What you're saying makes sense to you, but it makes no sense to me. <laughs> yeah, it's still a bug, which I, maybe you already posted about it, but like... It's a bug, not just on the item. Is this recent? Is this in the newest patch, do you think? Or has it been there a while and we just didn't notice? I feel like that's something we would have noticed. Oh my god, so many bugs get put into this game and never fixed. <laughs> like, we're stuck with this. <laughs> I'm dooming, guys. I'm dooming. Man, this is our run without poison damage. And it's, like, obviously the damage is, like, not there without the poison. But it's still not bad. Now I'm kind of starting to get why people say Thor is OP. Like, this is, this is good stuff. Thor seems very good. Man, Thor is so sick. I wish I never would have known that fucking jump dash thing. It doesn't ruin the skull for me or anything, but, like, it's just another one of those head scratchers that's like, why would the devs do this? Or as the DPS. Just like inherently built into him. It's really cool. We'll see how this Joan fight goes now that we can poison her. Should be pretty fucking simple, but... This is like my first real idea of where my damage is at. It's looking pretty good. And we're not even done scaling yet. I'm taking uh, Poison Enhanced, and that is, like, such an incredible upgrade from what it is now. Like, it's very good. Oh, you thought you had me? Uh, slime. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn into slime. Bye. Loser. Oh!
I think that hit her, actually. The inscription upgrade, it's a really cool addition. One of these days, we're going to have to do a, a cheat run where we enhance our inscription and run to the beginning of the game with, like, the dev menu. And just, like, play a bunch of enhanced inscriptions. I wonder if you can enhance more than one doing that. That'd be pretty fucking crazy. Have you tested that, Bok? River bosses so much damage to uh, loss to evading that poison doesn't care about. And also, poison with um, with weakness exposure does just a shit ton of damage inherently. Alright, well, the nightmare scenario is happening where I was hoping I wouldn't get offered this because I don't want to have to choose between one of my rings because it's my crit. But, like, I think our poison application is so consistent, even without crit, that we don't need crit. Then the dual thing? Oh, the dual thing? This? Oh. Yeah. I wasn't even... I was thinking about the rings. I don't know why I was thinking about the rings. Uh, 625 versus... Yeah, oh yeah. It's way better. You can try treasure 4. Uh, would I want treasure 4? Probably, actually. But I'm, I'm taking poison 3. You can't stop. I'm taking poison enhanced. That's how we win, okay? No, I'm not. I'm not your guinea pig, Doss. This is like the definitive moment of the day where I tell Doss I'm not his guinea pig. I'm not your guinea pig. I'm taking poison four. <laughs> That's what this whole thing's been building towards. It's everything. Coward GG? What do you mean GG? Are you trying to tell me that you think Treasure 4 is better? Or Treasure Enhanced is better than Poison Enhanced? How many inscriptions do I have? This amount of inscriptions. But how many of these would help me? Oh, Coward. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I don't want to cheat with Coward, for the record. That's why I didn't take Coward. I, I need to learn this fight. I don't want Coward. This is potentially worth taking over one of these rings. What are my... Okay, my pedestals are too important anyways. I have revenge and I have... Oh, well, this... Treasure 4 would give me revenge. I should, I should acknowledge that. I mean, I'm at a crossroads right now. This is a crossroads for sure. They would all be 25% damage. Uh Oh, yeah, that's true. They would be 25% damage. Oh, man. Okay, you know what? I think Doss has convinced me. Okay, well, here's the question. What item would I replace to um to get the thing? I guess I could replace, like, any one of these, actually, probably. Like, this could go, I guess. Because I have to pick up an item to get it, right? But I I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'll be Doss's guinea pig, because that sounds pretty sick, actually. <laughs> one ring? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Because that's max HP. And max HP is important, speaking of. Taking treasure four to the first hero feels so weird. What do you think is best for this run? Gotcha. All right, I'll be your guinea pig. Fuck it. Fuck it. We ball. I'm d the the damage percent convinced me because this run with damage percent is gonna shred, okay? And we're gonna have revenge anyways. Like, it's gonna be dope. Just have to get through this hero without losing my life, and I think that's gonna be pretty easy. We have the demonomicon. Uh, I think we're using our skills fast enough. I'm swapping between my two skulls regularly, and. You know, using four skills. Also, I want the uh, the inscription benefits from artifact. But you know what? I'll I'll, I'll keep an open mind to it. Okay. We also. Oh man, I actually think this could be a win. 
as long as I don't do anything ridiculous, because um, we have the slime, we have the iframe swap on um, on Frost Skull. Like, we got the iframes on deck. We're about to get an enormous damage percent boost. Man, if this run wins, I'm going to be so happy. Because, like, for so long, I've just been trying to convince people that poison is the best uh, damaging inscription status. And, like, what better example to show people than, like, show them a run where I have two balance skulls that deal magic damage. And I brought poison the whole way through. And it's been owning and being a, a very consistent, powerful part of this run. And I also beat the Emperor on that run. Like, this is, this is my dream come true. He's skipping phase... He's skipping the explosion thing. What's good, YouTube? We'll see. This is probably a more interesting run than, than the one earlier where I conclude with saying that one of the new skulls sucks. <laughs> it's like, yeah, guys, you guys hype for the update? Yeah. Anyways, God of War, he sucks. Yeah, that's what's up, baby. God of War sucks ass. Anyways, enjoy the update, guys. Keep it real. I mean, that video is going to come eventually regardless, but immediately right out the gate as people are excited i don't know keep it sleazy guys okay we're definitely low on the damage currently but treasure four will change that this is behind where i normally like to be in this fight so you can also turn that into an advantage if um, if you can deal a lot of damage to him in the time that he spends wasting time before he does this. Like, I dealt a decent amount of damage to him there. So, like, I think we're either on par with where I'd normally like to be or ever so slightly ahead. As long as I can get him into the phase 3 transition here, everything's fine. Be ready for the attack. Be ready for the siphon. Yeah, he's going to phase three. That's all I care about. Just don't get grabbed. It's that simple. And if I do get grabbed, I have a panic button, so it should be okay. We have a panic button here as well. Okay, meatballs here. It should die very quickly to poison. Okay, he's not grabbing yet. The grab's coming now. And here comes the siphon. Oh my god, Thor swap there is terrible. Okay, he's doing something here. Just respect him. Okay, he's doing not the good one. I mean, we're definitely getting him here. Just get rid of those. And I don't think I'm losing my last resistance. Nope. All right, everything's good. We're definitely at a point where we can win this. Like, this is probably the, the highest chance to win that I've had all day. Hopefully. Yeah, this is... Uh, what we we're about to experience is what Idol of Insanity could have been. <laughs> but we kept balance in mind when we made it. But, frankly... This is probably fair, I guess, because you only get it at the very end. Oh, thank you for subscribing. Kyao Kyoken? I hope that's close. Thank you. Appreciate you. Hopefully you're enjoying the stream. All right, here we go. 
Amplifies damage dealt to enemies by 5% for each treasure inscription effect in possession. The Golden King's Chest appears when this effect is active. Hang on. I gotta do this. That's, uh... Ignore that. Okay? It's not important. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Increases number of all owned inscriptions by 1. Increases physical attack and magic attack by 100%. Attacking an enemy unleashes King's Blow, dealing damage according to the higher attack power between physical attack and magic attack. Increases number of all owned inscriptions by 1. Increases skill cooldown, speed, attack speed, and movement speed by 45. Upon using a skill, regains 75% of skill's cooldown and increases attack speed by movement. Okay, that doesn't matter to me. Um, number of all owned inscriptions by 1. Increases swap cooldown speed by 30%. Upon being hit, nullify damage and become invincible for 5 fucking seconds? What the hell? What? I need this. I need this. But that's crazy. What the? This one sucks. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it's like that one blows ass, bro. Revenge, you're basically invincible. I mean, I need to learn this boss fight, okay? Here's the thing. I need to learn the boss fight. So I'm taking this. I'm not doing this to be a coward. I'm doing this because I want to win. I think this can go. <laughs> if I get rid of one of the rings, it's less amp. But does that even matter? You have to apply poison? No, I don't have skills. I do see your point, but I have skills. Keep that in mind. Skills count. It's not that big of a difference, I guess. Though we don't see the amp for the record. Keep that in mind. All right. Hang on. All right, we're ready. Let's go. Time to lose. Let's go. Hang on. A great sword that once belonged to a cursed king who turned everything he touched into gold. Neat. Let's freaking go! Time to lose, bro! Let's lose! With feeling. This will def- I mean, obviously my damage is fixed now. And it's even bigger than it looks for the record. Alright, you guys aren't here. I'm zoning out. Chat's not here. I'm playing by myself. I had to be very careful about concentrating here. We got iframes on deck, though. And revenge. Ow. Oh, he's leading with this? Okay, it's not the one I thought it was. Not the DVD screensaver attack. No! Also got, I got lots of iframes on deck actually. I didn't realize that, um, that this guy also had iframes when he does his swap. You know what, his swap actually isn't that bad then. Thor swap's actually fine. I can actually use it pretty effectively here in a second. We want to get out of here quickly from here. He did the good position of platforms. I prefer this over some of the other stuff he can do. Alright. That, that went pretty well, all things considered. Alright, here we go. The lessons we've learned today, we have to apply them now.
Go ahead, shoot. Okay, he just canceled the attack somehow. Oh! Okay, we didn't take a gajillion damage there, so I guess I did it better than I normally do it. Okay, I'm not even going to try and kill that one over there right now. Yeah, let's just blow him up. He can heal. He didn't even full heal anyway, so it's fine. This is the first we've gotten today on stream. This phase is extremely, extremely scary. He's not doing the thing. Where's the thing, sir? Yeah, do the thing. Do it now. You're not getting me. I got slime on deck, bitch. Fuck you, loser. Bitch. Go ahead and try and get me. This is looking real good, guys. It's not over, though. It's not even close to over. This shit coming up ain't free. But we do have reassembly. And we have a lot of HP. He has like a Hail Mary coming up that's crazy. My, he's doing it! I think. Oh no, he's not. Now he might be doing it. Or maybe he doesn't always... He didn't do it. Dude, last night he did this crazy attack. That fucked me up. Does he, maybe he doesn't always do it. Alright, dude. That was fucking awesome. Okay. I consider that my second win. My YouTube win doesn't count. That counted. Because I didn't have... Okay, so I had Piety and Revenge, which obviously, you know, helpful. I kept my reassembly, though. I think even without P uh, Revenge, we win here. Uh, obviously, getting this item helped a fuck ton. I don't think we would have won without this item. So, shouts to DOS. But that was fucking great. That's uh, precisely what I want to see. What's the windscreen going to look like there? What? <laughs> when does it When does it decide? Bomb only happens once for story reasons? Yeah. The bomb is not there anymore. Which is, in my opinion, a good thing. Like, if they actually kept that shit, it would have been pretty crazy. Alright, guys. This is the YouTube run. Yeah. You guys are on YouTube. Say hi. Say hi to YouTube. Uh, another win. Though, the... So, what I'll say is, for those who are returning viewers, um, my first win, I don't really count that, because I relied on just, like, Coward and Heracles iframes. I didn't even know what I was doing. Um, I just... And also, Bakanudo doing the YouTube thing way better than me, but, um... I didn't know what I was doing during that fight. I was just blindly swinging and hoping and praying that I would win. 
But here, I was in control. I knew what was happening and when to do certain things and when to dodge and stuff. That's what I consider a win. So, like, I I'm starting to feel a little more comfortable in here. Although I will say this came on the heels of a full days of full day of L's. So, like, it's still extremely fucking hard. I don't think this run. It. I. I you know what? I would have taken Poison Four. Poison 4 may have gotten me there because Poison 4 is extremely powerful. Or Poison Enhanced, I mean, sorry. Uh, poison Enhanced is very powerful, but like the damage percent was very important and also the amp we didn't see. Uh, frankly, I think uh, Treasure 4 is what got me the win here. And if Poison Enhanced would have got me the win, it would have been extremely close. But I hope my viewers learn something about poison here it's something i've been talking about a lot and also the new people who are here because there's a lot of you guys who are in the algorithm seeing me now hi um i talk about this a lot that um poison is a universal inscription it's not beholden to damage type if you're playing a physical skull or i mean a magic skull nothing stops you from taking it because the way poison scales damage wise like it your your skull is meaningless it's the same as Oberon. You could be playing a physical skull and take Oberon, and it's the same thing, basically. Poison is splendid. What up, Goldspire? Dude, that's what's up. That's what's up. Every time Goldspire says something, it's fire, okay? Every time he says something, it's just fire. Except he said splendid and not splendiferous, but that's fine, too. Splendid's a great word. Do you think spoils plus could be worth? Um, you know, maybe. The thing about spoils is it's much less of an investment. Hooray is also a good word. Any kind of like, uh, what's, what are they called? Um, I'm trying to think of the word for it. It's like a word that describes words where you're like exclaiming excitement. Jolly good. Maybe a little too British. You know, a little too British there, but it's a good try. You're the best believer. Well, I didn't do believers versus doubters today, but I appreciate my believers. Exerso? What the hell is that? <laughs> Better than normal spoils? Well, actually, I'm about to find out because I'm just going to look it up. No, not onomatopoeia. The word's on the tip of my tongue. I can't think of it, though. Gold rapier or something or get spoils clone stamp. Eureka? That's more of like, you know, something a mad scientist says as he discovers his newest, like, uh, invention, I guess. But the best DLC skull? Probably. Well, okay, it's too early to say for the record. I, this is not a definitive statement. I may change my mind. Um, it's probably Hercules. It's either Hercules or King Arthur. I'm going to unlive myself in front of Southpaw Studios if this update doesn't come to console next week. <laughs> Dog, Southpaw, you you hear this? You hear this guy? Hurry up. You you can't leave him hanging like this, Southpaw. Dr. Thugonomics? What the fuck are you talking about? Thor is not far away. Yeah, Thor's good. Um, you know, I, I don't want to talk too much about where I think the skull's power levels are. I'm going to be doing a tier list eventually, obviously. But um, right now, I just have a feeling that Hercules is, like, very good. And so is King Arthur. And so is Thor, obviously. He's just one with him. He's very good. Now that I know the, mad the power of his concentration skill, I've become a fan. I don't... Wait, what? What is it? What's the reference? The line here is kind of slow. Uh, he has iframes. Like, he's invincible whenever he's using his skills. So, um, like, it doesn't really matter how slow he is because, like, all he has to do is sp uh, skill spam and then he doesn't take a lot of damage. It's pretty good. Thor pretty RI. The thing about Thor is, coming into this run, I didn't realize he had iframes on his swap. It was you earlier, Bach, who said you think his swap is bad. I actually think his swap is good with iframes. God of War? We don't talk about God of War. <laughs> We're trying to be positive here, okay? Just lots against Yee. Okay, I need to stop raising Luigi point. Like, Luigi always comes into my stream really late, and he's, like, wasted, and he just says shit. Oh, wait. Oh, Yiggy. Yiggy. Okay, I see. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Luigi. I thought you said you lost against Yiji. I was like, is this like a Yu-Gi-Oh reference? What does this mean? With Treasure 4, God of War should be good. He'd be really good with the one that makes you not take damage because then you could really make take advantage of those times where he's like, I mean, I don't know. 
uh, can be stunned. Me too. But you know what? They can't be done. Also, this outro is getting a little rambly. I'll end it in a second. Something I learned yesterday is Yak Rakshasa's slowness does not work against them at all. Like, straight up, it just does it. And no, I did not get the secret boss, but I I know where all of the the pieces of uh, enhanced dark cords are, so I could go to it if I wanted to, but I'm choosing not to while I learn Alexander. When I'm even slightly decent at uh, Alexander, I'll try to fight the secret boss. On DM10, and I really don't find him bad, but it's maybe a question of play style. I think he's... You know what? <laughs> Let's end this outro before I start ranting against God of War. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all. And I will see you again in the next one. Bye-bye. And if you like God of War, you can still enjoy it. I'm just saying. All right, bye-bye.